Hey everybody! I am going to make this video really quick and to the point with just the info. So I'm not going to do the usual sit around and wait for people to jump on type of thing. I hope that this information is helpful if you are a business owner or if you are a customer who wants to support your favorite local small business during this time of COVID-19, phase one, phase two, phase one, relapse. So I will link all of this information in a blog post that we've created on our website. I'll put the link in the description so you can go through all the nitty gritty details of this later, but when do we ever kind of remember to go back and look at stuff later? So if you have three minutes, just stick around and I will give you the deets. And if you have any more questions, of course, you can always reach out to me. Did I even introduce myself? Hi, I'm Morgan, Morgan Reynolds, owner of Beyond the Trend. Working late to uh, provide you with these great updates that are now available on Google Business. So, number one, if you are a Google business owner, if you are a business owner and you have a Google business page, then mm -hmm. one of the great updates that is available to you is ticking the online services option. So if you log into your Google business profile, there is now an option to update your appointments, estimates, and a couple other different types of services to say that they are available online. And then when customers search for that in either Google or Google Maps, they will see that your business offers online whatever service it is that you choose. So this is a really great option if a customer is scrolling through or let's face it, most people, including you and me, want to check and see what the status of a business is before we leave the house. So log into your Google business profile and if you have online services available, if you're a restaurant, you should know that Google business does have a option to mark if you do dine-in, takeout, or delivery all or none or whatever combination works for you. If you're any other type of business and you can offer your services online, go into Google and update it. All the information to do that is in our blog, which I will link in this post as soon as I'm done with this video. You can also find it on our website, beyondthetrend.com. Um, we are adding new posts and articles kind of as soon as we uncover these updates and as soon as we can put together something cohesive so you can always subscribe to our email list and get these updates right to your inbox as well. Okay, so number one, online services. Number two, if you want to support local business, Google Business now has an option where you can support by donating, just straight donating money to your favorite local businesses or uh, your business can offer gift cards that you can purchase now even if their business isn't open and use them in the future. If you are a business owner, make sure you use this option. And again, you log into your Google business account and there will be an option to ask for support, it's called support, from your customers. And you can either have an option for people to directly donate to your business or they can buy a gift card in advance and have that on hand. Um, Google Business does have a few restrictions around this. You have to have already verified your business with Google prior to March 1st, I believe, is what our local jurisdiction says. Um, so again, if you need help logging into your Google Business account, if you're not quite sure how to do that, if it's been a really long time, all of the links are on our website in the article called COVID-19 Tools for Business Owners. Um, and again, I will try and link that in the description. But those are the two updates that I had for you. There's a ton of updates also on uh, Facebook and Instagram, and we're going to work tomorrow on getting an article up that kind of has all the links, support articles, and help for business owners to figure out how to set up those features as well. And if you're not a business owner and you happen to be watching this, uh, or if you're watching this and you want to share it with a business owner, remember that when you go on Google Maps and search for businesses close to you, or you search for your favorite business, if they have not updated their services, you can request an edit as a customer, even if it's not your business, which as a business owner is a little bit scary. But 
If perhaps your favorite business owner is just feeling very overwhelmed right now and you want to help them out by requesting that they offer online services or pointing out to Google that they are indeed open for business, that their business has not changed due to COVID-19, you as a customer can help your favorite business owners do that by going to Google Maps, finding your favorite business, and uh, requesting those edits. So. That is all I have for today. I really hope that that was helpful. Um, if you found this video useful, please like and share and pass it along to someone else. And again, I'll try and drop the link in this video description. You can go to our website. Again, we're trying to keep that up to date. You can subscribe to the website for more updates. You can like and follow our Facebook page and you can always reach me anytime. My email is thecaptain at beyondthetrend.com. Very simple. So I hope you guys have a great night. Stay safe, wear your masks, wash your hands, do all the things, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.